Sometimes I forget how beautiful this planet can be. Too bad the human race is hell-bent on destroying it. Good thing they got us, right? Huh. Yeah, I guess. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we'll be talking about things you didn't know from the popular TV series Invincible and its sequel. Enjoy this video. Invincible is an American adult animated superhero streaming television series based on the Image comic series of the same name by Robert Kirkman, which premiered on Amazon Prime Video on March 25, 2021, to critical acclaim for its animation, action sequences, and performances. The series stars Steven Yoon, Sandra Oh, and J.K. Simmons. The series revolves around Mark Grayson, a 17-year-old boy whose father is Omni-Man and his transformation into a superhero under the guidance of his father. In April 2021, Amazon renewed the series for his second and third season. Mark Grayson is a normal teenager, except for the fact that his father, Nolan, is the most powerful superhero on the planet. Shortly after his 17th birthday, Mark begins to develop powers of his own and enters into his father's tutelage. On June 19, 2018, it was announced that Amazon had given a series order to the project for a first season consisting of eight episodes. Simon Rassiopa serves as showrunner for the series, based on the comic book of the same name by Robert Kirkman, and also serves as executive producer alongside Kirkman, David Alpert, and Catherine Winder. Production companies involved with the series include Skybound. Coincidentally, Executive producers Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen, who also provides a voice on the show, are working on a live-action film adaptation of the comic, which is separate from the animated series, as co-directors, writers, and producers. On April 29, 2021, after the release of the final episode of the first season, Amazon renewed the series for his second and third season. In January 2019, Steven Yoon, J.K. Simmons, Sandra Oh, Mark Hamill, Seth Rogen, Gillian Jacobs, Andrew Rannells, Zazie Beetz, Walton Goggins, Jason Montezoukas, Mae Whitman, Chris Diamantopoulos, Malise Jow, Kevin Michael Richardson, Gray Griffin, and Max Burkholder joined the cast of the series. On July 18, 2020, Robert Kirkman confirmed the casting in a live video on Twitter. The review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes reported 98% approval rating for the first season, based on 59 critic reviews. The website's critical consensus reads, with bold animation, bloody action, and an all-star cast led by the charming Steven Yeun, Invincible smartly adapts his source material without sacrificing his nuanced perspective on the price of superpowers. Metacritic reported a score of 73 out of 100 based on 16 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews for the first season. Ben Travers of IndieWire gave the show a B grade, stating that Kirkman's adaptation is provocative, surprising, and sometimes challenging, as it constantly tries to disrupt the accepted ideas of its genre, whether that's the superhero genre, the teen drama genre, or the misguided notion that animation is a genre unto itself. Catherine Van Arendonk of Vulture states, The series has a palpable, more of an eight-hour movie thing going on. And the potential of that model is that it will coalesce in the end into this glorious big transfixing story. But also adds that the pitfall is that it makes these opening episodes a little weaker. There are so many characters happening here, so many story threads to put in place, that it's hard to know what to invest in as a viewer. Siddhant Adlaka of IGN gave season 1 of the series a 8 out of 10, stating the season is great thanks to its unique action and strong character-centric gravitas, and that the show combines familiar superhero tropes with unexpected gore and moving character dynamics, resulting in the year's most surprising superhero series. Invincible Season 2 is officially in development. To the delight of its fans, Amazon Studios has renewed the R-rated animated series for two more seasons, which means we'll be getting plenty more of Robert Kirkman and Cory Walker's superhero universe soon. We're unsure when that'll be, but it's nonetheless exciting to hear. We enjoyed season one a lot, and its finale left things open for many more installments. It's not unexpected, then, that Invincible is getting two more outings on TV screens. If you want the lowdown on everything worth knowing about Invincible season two, you've come to the right place. Here you'll find more information on its possible launch date, new cast members, what the source material in Season 1 finale can tell us about Season 2's plot and more. A word of warning before we continue, 
we're about to dive into massive spoilers for Invincible Season 1 and the comics. Turn back now or you'll have both ruined for you. There's no confirmed release date for Invincible Season 2. However, we suspect that Amazon will want to exploit its popularity and get to work on it as quickly as it can. Invincible Season 2 was only announced on April 29, so it's unlikely that any major work will have begun just yet. Kirkman and the series' executive team may have had discussions on what plot points to build the next season around, but from animation, art, script, and voice actor perspectives, we don't think much will have been done. That said, sometimes animated shows get an early renewal behind the scenes because of the long turnaround it takes to make further episodes, so it's possible that it's further along than we think. It's possible that we may see other voice actors reprise their roles outside of the cast too. Zachary Quinto had voiced Robot, but it's unclear if his voice talents will be needed for future seasons, as we see in Season 1. Robot is the artificial host hobby of Rudy Connors, an individual whose genetic defects mean he's unable to live outside of his saline tank. With Rudy's consciousness being transferred into his new clone body in Season 1, Episode 7, Ross Marquand has taken over vocal duties for Rudy. As such, it's unclear if Quinto is needed to reprise his role in Season 2. Robots have a big role to play in the comics, but we don't know if those events will be part of Season 2, Season 3, or beyond. Other voice actors who may return include Chris Diamantopoulos as Doc Seismic, Fred Tedeschiori as Kill Cannon, Clancy Brown as Damian Darkblood, Jeffrey Donovan as Machine Head, Ezra Miller as D.A. Sinclair, and Michael Dorn Battle Beast and Thok. Kirkman has hinted at some of their returns, so it'll be interesting to see who is back for Season 2. As for new cast members, Kirkman revealed that he'd love for some of the Walking Dead TV series cast to show up in future seasons. Yoon, Marquand, Lori Cohen, Michael Cudlitz, Sonic Martin-Green, and Lenny James have all appeared in the various roles already. But Kirkman wants more Walking Dead actors to lend their talents to the animated show. The comic series is a fun but at times confusing one. There are many directions the season 2 could go in, but we already have an idea of what the next installment could entail. This is based on the season 1 finale and some hints that the official Invincible Twitter account has already dropped. First, let's look at Invincible Episode 8. Mark, aka Invincible, and the Guardians of the Globe are all that now stand between Viltrium's invasion of Earth. Omni-Man was supposed to conquer the planet for the Viltrumite Empire, but after realizing that he couldn't kill Mark and by proxy enslave humanity for his people, he tearfully heads out into space for an unknown destination. Season 2 is certain to pick up this plot thread. Mark will be tasked with keeping Earth safe from the Viltrumites and, in turn, help the coalition of planets halt the universe-wide expansion. Mark already knows that a Viltrumite fleet is on its way thanks to Alan the Alien's warning. The latter has a big part to play in the comics from this point on, so if there are anything to go by, Mark and Alan's friendship will only grow stronger from here on out. As an extension of that, we should find out where Omni-Man, Nolan, has gone. In the comics, Nolan flies off to invade another planet, which he hopes will act as recompense with the Viltrum Empire for deserting his posting on Earth. There's a lot more for the TV series to cover regarding Mark and Nolan's relationship, which is also covered extensively in the comics. We'll be here forever if we dive too deep into this father-son bond. So for now, we'll say we hope to see some of J.K. Simmons' Nolan next season. If nothing else, we'll definitely be entering cosmic territory in Season 2, so expect stranger worlds, weirder characters, and a universe-spanning plot to translate from page to screen. The Season 1 finale also teased other potential story beats for its successor, too. We should get a continuation of the Sequid storyline, which didn't get a proper ending in Season 1. Here, we know that a Martian has infiltrated Earth after he traded places with one of the human astronauts. In tandem to that, the astronaut who was left behind on Mars is now being controlled by the Sequids, which could spell bad news for Earth if this parasitic race charts a course for the Blue Planet. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and we'll catch you next time. See ya!